everybody, today I'm going to be doing a live demonstration and review of the Pantene Air Spray. I did receive this product from Influencer, but all the opinions are always my own because I like to keep it real here. But um, I did receive a complimentary for reviewing and testing purposes. Now, um, when I received this, I was a little bit worried because I don't really style all of this. Like, I wake up and if it's curly, it's a curly day. If when I wash my hair and it dries, it's straight, it's a straight day. I really don't do that much with it. So when I got this product, I was like, all right, now I, I have to pay attention to what grows out of the top of my head. Okay. So one, a few of my, the main problems I have with my hair, it's a little thin. It's not as thick as some other, you know, girls. Uh, also, I tend to, you know, it's long. It's really long. Um, so it doesn't really always keep style. So if I put it up and I put hairspray in it, my style's coming down in 20 minutes. Especially if it's humid. Quicker, 10 minutes. Sometimes my hair starts falling down as I'm styling it. So I tried this product. It's supposed to be an alcohol-free hairspray with a brushable, flexible hold. Now I applied some to this side here where you see I've got like a little bit of like, I don't know, I don't know what I did because I don't really style my hair, but I kind of pushed my hair back, sprayed it, and tried to give it that volume um, out of the 80s, I guess. And you can kind of see that this is still held up, whereas this is down. This is me normally. So I'm just going to show you guys. Um, and also, you can see that I'm running my fingers through it. It doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel like the 80s. Um, I really like that. Like, I was one of those people when I was in high school who used a lot of Aquanet. In like the uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, I was one of those people. So this doesn't feel like that at all. Now, when I use this, the first thing I notice about it is it has a soft, almost feminine kind of scent. There we go. So when I first used it, the first thing I noticed is it has like a very soft, feminine kind of scent to it, and I actually really like that. Um, I don't like products that make my hair smell like I have hair products in it. This smells like I'm just putting like a light scent to it. It's a clean shampoo type smell. So I don't want you to think that this is going to disrupt your whole per uh, perfume game. It's not. It's a soft shampoo smelling like smell that when I go like this even to this side that I've had been wearing all day. My hair kind of smells like just clean shampoo. So this is perfect if you're like in between washings and you're trying to do a style and you're like, oh, my hair kind of has that like second day funk. And, you know, especially if you live in the city, we get second day funk. Um, this gets rid of that, which is nice. So as you can see, I sprayed a little bit and I'm brushing it and I can, I can keep styling. It's still a little moist. Uh, again, I don't really know how to style my hair, but what I did notice about this side is that it added volume to my hair. Like, as I brush through it and whatnot, like, I don't feel like my hair is limp. I like that. Whereas this side, as you can see, I didn't really spray too much, but it added just a little something. And I like that. And I like that I can move my fingers through my hair. It's a light hold, but it's flexible. It's still, you know... I still have some volume going on, and I actually like, uh, I like this a little bit more. Uh, if I actually knew how to do hair, I would show you guys a little bit more, but for me, this is, this is huge, because when I try to get any volume around, like, the crown of my head, it's just, no, it's flat city. So I was very impressed with that. Now, this does say it's number two, brushable, flexible hold, so this isn't supposed to be super hold. This is supposed to give you that flexible hold, and it delivers on that. This claims that you may you may be able to use less than your normal hairspray. From what I recall about hairspray is I would literally put my hand here and it would be like shh, shh, shh. That's the way it would be. And I would be like, all right, and I would literally get to the bus stop and my hair would be like wah wah. Whereas this I'm finding like I actually put this on and fell asleep like this side that you're seeing here. Uh, I put it on earlier today and then my camera died and I was like well I'll go to sleep. I'll just I'll reapply more later. It's not a heavy product. And I didn't need to because it's still it's still here in my head. So I was like wow I only put a little bit on, went to sleep, woke up and my hair was still the way I had done you know this like 80s pushback. So I was very, very, very happy about that. Um, so in terms of hairspray, I would definitely pick up the full size of this because this is the little sample size. Um, it definitely felt soft. Like I don't feel like I don't feel like it looks like I have a lot of product in my hair. Like I feel like it looks like I just you know have my hair. I have a little makeup in my hair right here, but aside from that, like I don't feel like it shows that I'm 
that I have product in it. So that's a plus. Like I said, the scent was a plus and also the fact that I didn't have to use too much of it and that it stayed all day. So these were definitely big pluses for me. Um, that being said, if you're looking for a product that does all the things I mentioned, uh, maybe you're more experienced with doing your hair, but you want just a little bit of flexible hold, maybe to help you hold down the flyaways, or maybe you just want to add a little bit of extra volume to your hair, because I think this would be purpose, like, perfect if, like, you flip your hair upside down, spray the bottoms, and then brush, kind of like what you do with mousse. I feel like this would be perfect for that. Um, if you're worried, if you have fine, if, you, if you're worried if you have limp hair, don't worry, because this product is not going to really weigh your hair down, as you can see. Also, if you're worried about alcohol content in your hairspray, worry not, this does not have it, so it will not dry out your hair like typical hairsprays. Anyway guys, have you tried the Pantene Pro-V Airspray hairspray? If you have, let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't, try it. If you can get your hands on a sample, definitely try it because I think you guys will like it. And if you are a, even if you're not used to styling your hair much like me, if you'd like to check out this product, I'm going to leave a link below in the information section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Recycled Stardust.